Welcome and thanks for joining us. This is video one of five of the AFP video series on uh, knee examination and joint injection techniques. My name is Chris Urbanek. And my name is Megan Ferdiber. We are two physicians who work at ECU and we're family medicine trained and also trained in sports medicine. Today we're going to review a mnemonic that we use whenever we are evaluating a patient who has a knee complaint. That mnemonic is IPASS, which stands for inspection, palpation, active passive range of motion, strength, and special tests. All right, now we're gonna transition right into inspection and palpation. Certainly your inspection exam is gonna start really immediately as the patient walks into your exam room, you're gonna be looking at their gait, seeing if they're favoring an extremity, if they're using any ancillary devices to help uh, get into the room. As far as their musculoskeletal exam, you're gonna to look to see if there's any atrophy of the muscle. If there's an effusion, you can look for obliteration of the medial sulcus. Is the patella sitting high or low? towards the medial aspect or to the lateral aspect. Um, it, certainly asymmetry side to side is gonna be useful in your exam. As you switch to palpation, you wanna put them in a position where it's gonna be easy to evaluate all of their anatomy. I typically like to put them in a little bit of knee flexion with the foot flat on the table. And then you wanna develop some sort of systematic approach for moving through all of the anatomy. You wanna find a system that works well for you and typically what I like to do is start uh, distal and work my way proximal. I start down at the tibial tuberosity and work proximally. I come up into the uh, patellar tendon, up to the inferior pole of the patella, and then I start to come back laterally. So as I come across the lateral joint line, I come into the LCL, and you can come then distally again to its insertion on the fibular head. Come back to the joint line, and I work laterally again across the joint. As I get posteriorly, I'm coming into the uh, biceps tendon, and then continuing posteriorly across the joint line, into the popliteal fossa. You can come a little bit more proximally into the lateral femoral condyle and proximally still across the IT band. Coming back to the anterior aspect of the knee and the patellar tendon on the joint line as I go medially onto the medial aspect of the joint. The more distal aspect is going to be your pes anserinus bursa and proximal to that is going to be the tendon complex as well as your MCL distal attachment. That can be followed proximally to the medial femoral condyle and its proximal attachment. Coming back to the joint line, you can follow the medial joint laterally and then posteriorly again to the popliteal fossa. You can come back anteriorly again to the patella and proximally to the quadriceps tendon. Here again, you can appreciate the mass of the quadricep muscles and appreciate any atrophy here as well. And that concludes inspection and palpation of the knee.